These days, social media is incredibly important to the lives of most young people. Studies show that on average, teens spend over seven hours per day viewing videos or using social media platforms. Tweens are no exception and spend over four hours per day on their smartphones. It's no wonder then that in 2019, over two-thirds of children owned a smartphone by the age of 12, up from only 41% in 2015, just four years earlier. As might be expected, heightened social media usage has led to notable psychological changes in children and teens. Social media networking sites offer users the opportunity to post pictures of themselves, their friends and family, and what they're doing. However, the constant availability of these pictures often leaves viewers feeling negatively about themselves. The consistent use of ads, videos, and pictures by celebrities and social media influencers appears to have caused an increase in teens' concerns about their body image. Videos and pictures from celebrities and influencers are often photoshopped or modified to reflect an ideal image that just isn't real. For women, the ideal may be very thin, with perfect skin and teeth and good taste in clothing. For men, the image is generally muscular and tall. Spending increased time viewing these videos and social media posts, children and teens have become accustomed to seeing ideal body images, but may not realize how much they have to be altered. That has led many to attempt adjusting their own bodies to match the unrealistic images through the use of dieting and excessive exercise. Unfortunately, the result of these efforts may balloon into eating disorders or mental health issues such as low self-esteem, low self-confidence, depression, or anxiety. Research has found a link between social media use and eating disorders. According to a study conducted in Australia and New Zealand, 51.7% of girls aged 13 and 14 with a social media account were likely to report severe changes to their eating routines, like skipping meals or over-exercising. 45% of boys the same age reported the same problems. Another study reviewed the association between Instagram use, which is dominated by perfect body pictures and posts, and the presence of anorexia nervosa. Among 680 users who followed health food accounts, 49% were found to exhibit symptoms of anorexia. Young people may also experience a phenomenon known as cyberbullying. This bullying can occur when other teens of the same age make comments or send messages that are derogatory in nature. They might also make comments that are sexual in nature. This abuse can lead to severe mental health issues, including social anxiety, body image concerns, and depression. Cyberbullying may also lead to eating disorders, particularly if the person is subjected to comments about their size, shape, or weight. There are steps parents can take to protect their children from excessive social media use and potential eating disorders. Talk to your teens and children about the importance of maintaining positive relationships with friends, family, and teachers. Encouraging a balance of healthy eating and exercise through group sports and outdoor play can be extremely helpful. When they do engage in social media, talk to them about how pictures and videos may be photoshopped or edited, and how most people don't have a perfect appearance. The more they know about how images are presented, the more likely they are to not fall prey to the influence of unrealistic expectations. Additionally, if you monitor their accounts, you can avoid instances of extreme cyberbullying. Recognizing and combating online bullying early can help prevent persistent harm to your child. The fact is social media frequently uses algorithms to promote content designed to be attractive to users who fit a certain demographic or lifestyle. That means that individuals who are clearly health-oriented may be bombarded with social media feeds that advertise exercise, weight loss, and extreme dieting. Social media sites have the opportunity to alter their algorithms, so these types of posts aren't directed towards certain individuals, but they have chosen not to do this. Social media networking sites could also adopt policies that prevent younger users from even establishing an account. Studies show that children younger than 13 have no real reason to join Facebook or Instagram. 
They can talk with friends in person or through text messages. If parents adopt policies that limit their children's access, the children are less likely to develop anxiety or mental health problems associated with too much media exposure. Whether or not social media is the culprit, if you suspect your child or teen is suffering from an eating disorder, seek immediate professional help. Don't attempt to fix the problem on your own. Also, remain calm and focused on listening to and reassuring your child. Help them find ways to practice self-love and boost their self-confidence. However, if you believe your child's eating disorder might be the result of social media use and influence, please contact the Social Media Victims Law Center today to discuss your legal rights and available remedies. The Social Media Victims Law Center works to hold social media companies legally accountable for the harm they inflict on vulnerable users. Reach out to us today and schedule a free consultation.